some acupuncture, and this is Master Byung Kim, who will be presenting. Thank you, Christian. Thank you. Hello, everybody. How are you? Yeah, yeah. Um, my, my name is Byung Kim. Actually, the Byung is a four, part of my first name. It's, consists of 11 letters. It's way too long. Uh, so uh, I prefer to be called Master Kim because I have been teaching acupuncture to the physicians and acupuncturists all over the world. And uh, the subject uh, of this class for time is the uh, about Korean Orthodox um, acupuncture. And we call it uh, KOSA. Uh, show for that. Okay, um, I'm gonna give you a very brief information about Kosa acupuncture, and then once uh, my presentation is complete, then uh, I'll give you free demonstration on any kinds of pain. Okay, and once you have experienced and when I'm done, in two weeks, you put uh, post reviews on my acupuncture to the website, like a Yelp, Foursquare, or my Google Plus, or even my website. Uh, there's a forum, so-called uh, testimonial. When you click on it, you see a bunch of good testimonials. And then I'll choose three winners. The first winner will have three sessions free, which is worth 330. And the second winner will be two free sessions, which is going to be 240. And the third winner will be one session, which is going to be 150 bucks. And um, please, uh, Hold your question if you have any questions, and then we can, I can answer your questions once my presentation is done. Sounds good? Mm -hmm. Good, good. Um, has there, has here any, anybody experienced with any, any other type of acupuncture before? Good, good. Well, uh, what I'm talking about here is not just acupuncture, but also the most advanced science in the world. It would be very hard and difficult to believe what I'm going to be telling you. Um, 1975, there was a Polish mathematician whose name is Mandelbrot, and he came up with this thesis, so-called Fractal. His idea is once there is a rock on, at the, uh, on the road fell down from top of the mountain because it used to be part of the mountain it will mm, uh, resemble entire mountain just like our DNA is, right? Mm -hmm. Since we live in the cosmos, every single body of ours will resemble the cosmos. And cosmos, excuse me, the oriental theory, philosophy, and medicine are based on the concept or theory, so-called the yin yang and five elements. Yin, and yang, they're all uh, in the relationship of relative relationships. So core, top, or uh, low, high, short, long, that kind of relationship. And five elements, wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. Since we live in the cosmos, our body will resemble the entire cosmos and that this kind of characteristics as well. So somehow, I don't think a human being did it or discovered it, but alien 
did. And they found or discovered our 12 organs are the characteristic one of uh, one of either yin and yang, one of all, five elements. Like kidney is the characteristic of uh, yin and water, and heart is yin and fire, or uh, that kind of stuff. And also they found each organ has its meridian because they are uh, uh, vertically arranged. And each organ has two meridians symmetrically, front and back. And also since our organs is part of our body, we would have five elementary acupuncture points as well. And for example, the uh, meridian of stomach starts from here. You see light green line coming down right here, right here. So if there is anybody with a knee arthritis, that is his stomach problem. If there is any lady with a breast cancer, that is her stomach problem. Hard to believe, isn't it? <laughs> and of course, if it is the stomach cancer, that is stomach. So we are supposed to treat stomach so that stomach, which is now healthier than before, can treat breast cancer or the arthritis. But there are a lot more uh, things to do this, too. So, uh, Western medicine is purely experimental science. There is no theory at all. They think they do, but that's that what they think. It's totally different. Um, I had a meeting with an orthopedic surgeon. I just talked to uh, Christian in Detroit. Not, it was last year. And I gave him a brief about my acupuncture, and he couldn't believe what I was telling him. So he wanted to test me. So, <clears throat> hey, Master Kim, I have a pain on my index finger for two weeks. Can you treat it? Sure. So I opened my book, which was on page 61. Here, you see? The index, index finger? And you see here? large intestine. The reason why you have that pain for two weeks is whether you have noticed or not, uh, whether you have the symptoms related to your large intestine or not, it doesn't matter. Your large intestine is not healthy enough to do self-healing. Since the heat or the pain is the indication of the heat, I'm going to stick a needle on the fire point of your large intestine and then manipulate it. Then your healthier large intestine will fix your pain on your finger. So he asked me to do it. Go ahead. Stuck a needle on his fire point of his large intestine and manipulate it like 15 seconds. Then I asked him to try or test. Boom, it's gone. He was freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, whenever I provide this kind of presentation, I ask the people if they want to test my egg content, they come out. I ask them to come out. And whether it's two dozen different people, it doesn't matter. Just the one, two meters, boom, 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 boom. If this acupuncture is not scientific, there's no way I can do it. And one thing I like to emphasize that is uh, our organs have an amazing capability of a self healing. There was a guy who had a knee pain for six years. Okay. And of course, he 
went through all kinds of medicine, and nobody was able to help him. And when he completed the health history form, his complaint, complaint was only about his knee pain, here, right here. That's right on stomach, right? So I had to ask him, you must have, have some symptoms related to your stomach because your stomach is supposed to be able to fix the pain on your knee. And it has failed for six years. So obviously, I believe you must have some symptoms related to your stomach. He says, absolutely not. I'm just fine. OK. I still have to treat his stomach, no matter what. Uh, I gave him two needles on him, and I was talking about my acupuncture. And like five minutes later, he said, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you. I have a stomach ache once or twice a month and poor digestion. And with, with the six tumors, it's all gone. That even includes his digestion problem, too. So, uh, anyway, um, uh, 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 Donald Hill, yin the uh, five element acupuncture points. Everybody in the oriental medicine industry knows about it. However, nobody knows how to utilize those five element acupuncture points properly. And like 400 years ago, a Korean ascetic, Sa'am, here, S-A-A-H-M, that is his pen name. And he spent 13 years in the cave. And he invented the formula how to utilize five element acupuncture points. And with that, he treated thousands of people, and he wrote two books, and he passed away. And somehow, uh, his acupuncture was lost and buried, buried in graveyard. And early 1950s, Master Ri, who is my father's master, <coughs> this is his last name. He rediscovered those two books, and he studied and started to treat people and also taught people. And my father learned his acupuncture in 1962. And with tens of uh, years of experience or practice, he came up with a conclusion on the manipulation on the needle. So my acupuncture or COSA is very unique. Very unique. And uh, so he completed this beautiful yeah, art of the medicine, the best medicine in the world, I can guarantee. And he put the name, Korean Orthodox Saam Acupuncture. And our people have uh, successfully treated very challenging um, disease and the pains. You know, some pains, even though you go through a CAT scan or an MRI, you just can't find the reason why. And uh, even doctors say, you are not supposed to have any pain. You must have some problem with you psychologically, you know, emotionally. Well, speaking of emotion, okay. Uh, the Western science, they believe in that brain has control over our body, including the horse. But that is totally inverse information or knowledge model. Okay? I have successfully treated a dyslexia, fourth grader in elementary school, with one treatment. I was treating a lady in the medicine college, medical college, senior. And well, she, her memory was unbelievably good. Truly photographic memory. So I went to test her. So when I was inserting her needle, this is 
still about your bladder, this is about your lung, that kind of stuff. The next day when she came in, I asked her the bones, she got them all wrong, just hearing or listening. With two, three months, she says, Master, you know, now I can memorize even faster. So actually, your organs are responsible for your brain. Like M MS, you know, multiple sclerosis, I have some self treated already last year. So brain is not just itself. Brain is under control of the girl. Organs. Um, when you get frightened, uh, surprised, horrified, then your kidneys and bladder they get attacked or damaged. Your worst condition, your kidneys and or bladder, they are in charge in charge of bones and metals. Our girl. Uh, we had a, a rib was sticking out like half inch. Just because of she her most favorite movies and novels or TV programs or uh, all horror movies, horror stuff. In two months, just not seeing or getting touch with those horrible stuff, it fixed naturally. So emotions and our organs interacting directly. There's no delay, not in 0.5 seconds. So uh, like uh, if there's any person with a problem on the anger management, actually anger attacks the liver immediately. There's no delay again. So with the proper treatment of the liver, you will have a lot better tolerance on any stress. So, um, I have learned, uh, I have learned uh, this acupuncture from my father in 2003, and I started to teach from very next year. And I have taught 90 plus physicians and acupuncturists all over the world. And two years ago, 2012, I wrote this book. And my book has been translated into, well, even though I'm Korean, and my mother language, primary language is Korean, I, I somehow ended up writing in English. <laughs> so I, I don't have a, uh, my book in the Korean yet. I need to translate it. <laughs> Um, my book has been translated to Portuguese and Spanish and uh, Romania, and there are people in France, Germany, Spain, Israel, and Indonesia that they are translating my book in their mother languages. Um, uh, any questions so far? So you can treat uh, people with MS. Yes. Well, uh, I need to put this way. Theoretically, is it right spelling? spelling? It needs another L. L, okay, thank you. Yeah. Theoretically, if what I, those things what I told you is accurate information. Cosa is supposed to be able to treat all disease, disorder, and pain, including emotional issues. So don't ask me, can you do that? Of course, yeah, yes, well, I can. Because, uh, as I told you again, uh, earlier, if I, well, my back, background is electrical engineering. It's kind of black and white. It's, there is no gray area. So if the success, success rate of my treatment is like 60%, I won't be able to do it because I cannot treat myself doing bad things to the people. 
So almost 100% for everything and anything. So it's not because this is not experimental or at all. We know you will get better. You will get back to healthy condition, no matter what. Even though we don't have the experience with that, we just have to know the symptom. And we do have a, a three problems, and I, I can tell you only two out of them. Because the first problem is the secret of our, our, our acupuncture. The second problem is the patients get over too quick. <laughs> for, for me, or also to make enough money out of patients. Third uh, problem is the, uh, the we do have side effects. Okay. Side effects. Side effects. Uh, although you didn't tell me because you forgot or you didn't expect me to be able to treat with the treat. I was treating a lady with a bit of a thoughtings. Uh, her body was, all her body was giving her pain, very severe pain. So I was treating her like 10 minutes later, and she says, wow, all pain is almost gone. And uh, all of a sudden she says, I can see. So what do you mean? I believe you are not blind. Well, she used to have a peripheral vision for her lifetime. So she could not see from like 90 degrees. So when she wants to look, to look at the watch, then she would have to look this way, just so that she can see the watch. Have you heard about, heard about it? Well, all the people t told her, have told her that she was born with a peripheral vision. And, well, she, of course, she, how could she expect me to be able to fix it? Well, naturally, it was finished. Because, for example, liver is in charge of a muscle, tendon, ligament, sexual organ, and uh, anger management. So, well, she, because she had a muscle pain, so I had to treat her liver. And liver, oh, I forgot to tell you about the, uh, uh, the liver is in charge of her vision and eyeballs as well. So it has automatically and fully naturally fixed her problem. With the one solution. Yeah. Yeah, we call it side effect. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that was only one treatment? You only did the acupuncture once, or was it a series of? Yeah, just the one treatment. One treatment. The singular, not the problem. <laughs> Any questions? Please, please, please. Acupuncture usually, you know, like use a needle. Yes. But I saw some people use a knife very long civil knife or something like that, and sometimes use a heat treatment or something like that, put a heat or sometimes use a ice or whatever, something like that. Why, why, why would this kind of different kind of, which kind of instrument you use, like needle? Yes, needle or something like that. Uh, usually needle or something. This size. A diameter is a 0.25 millimeter, and length is 50 millimeter. But however, uh, the insertion depth is lower, deeper than three, meter, three millimeters. The Chinese and other types, they use like two inches, four inches sometimes, from here to that. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, they're proud of it. But technically, yeah, I, I cannot do it, and I don't want to do it. And uh, there are so many uh, different types of acupuncture. So like uh, the ladies love to wear earrings. Mm -hmm. Have you heard about the regular acupuncture? Okay. There was a French doctor. He was treating a lady. And he couldn't figure it out. 
when he was like 20 or 50 years ago. So, um, she was, his kind of headache unsolved Homer. And one day, when she visited him, she says, I'm just fine. My problems all gone. And so he thought there must be some reason why the problem is gone. <coughs> so he kept asking and asking and asking and asking and found what she did was punch a hole for hearing. That was the only thing she did. And he fixed her problem. So he started to study about the acupuncture points or some points on, on the ear. So that's the starting of regular, regular acupuncture. So when you use, well, when you use the earring, please do not puncture the hole. You don't know what you're going to get. Oh. Yeah, I'm serious. Like, uh, when I go to all the meeting, I ask the people to raise their hands if they have any uh, copper tunnel syndrome. If copper tunnel syndrome is usually in this area. So I teach them, well, I ask them how to treat it themselves. And it works in, like, you know, meeting. It, it can be really fix the problem. Okay? If you have a problem on, on this side, more severe than this side, okay? And you need to treat opposite side or healthier side. The make a fist, you, you can remember this one very easy. Make a fist on healthier side and find the spot with where the middle finger lands at. That's the acupuncture point. Okay, so here. Since Moritan flows, this direction, you will have to be tapping like this. Not this direction, but this direction. You just keep doing it, and you'll fix. You can do it with a fork point pen, or fork, or toothpick, or chopstick, <laughs> whatever, car key. You'll fix the problem. If this is not scientific, then I cannot say to the people, then they usually say, in a few seconds, as a matter of fact, wow! <laughs> so you can treat any people in the world with the proper treatment. If the problem is right on this area. Okay? Like what do you say go I had a baby. And uh, I stopped feeling the you know, uh, it's like a feeling this part of my mm -hmm. uh, skin. I told uh, my gynecologist, mm -hmm. he said uh, the baby is pressing the ligaments. When baby is born, your problem will be gone. Mm -hmm. Still, and I have to say, okay. <laughs> hasn't gone. Okay, there are two possible reasons. It can be combined or separate. Looking at the meridian the lo location. Did, did you use, used to have a migraine? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I still have. Because a migraine usually is due to unhealthy gallbladder. And gallbladder happens to have a meridian point mm -hmm. like this on the side, you see. So your gallbladder may be unhealthy. Mm -hmm. And probably, I should have said. So if you eat uh, some food with a lot of fat, you may have some problem with the digestion mm -hmm. on bowel movement. Is that right? I don't feel it, but I think uh, uh, I go to Ayurveda doctor. Mm -hmm. When they look at my pulse, mm -hmm. they said my problem is my digestion. Mm. But I don't have, like, I don't throw up or I have any constipation, nothing else. But 
Okay. Uh, feeling symptoms, having symptoms means well, does not necessarily mean. Well, well, well I'm sorry. I'll rephrase that. Uh, having no symptoms at all does not necessarily mean you your response for organs are healthy. And we have so badly brainwashed. And let's say I had a stomach ache since I was a very old, young baby. It's been all my life. So I can think anybody would have the same problem. And I think there will be absolutely no more culture. So this kind of brainwash or manipulation, like a <clears throat> I'm 58 years old. However, I wake up once, maybe twice a year to do it. My bladder never fades me up. So if you're 30, I'm in the 40s, and when you go to see the doctor and ask them, I'm going to tell them I need to wake up like three or four times a day, a night, to urinate. And so they say, it's normal. Well, he, he was using wrong word. It's not normal. It is supposed to be average. Still, average does not necessarily mean that it's healthy. So, uh, Western medicine has uh, manipulated all the words as they wanted. So, if I use the, the few words like a pure or heal in public, I'll get arrested. I'll get, it is a federal felony. How come they can arrest me just using heal or cure? Because I think I can cure, I, I can say, I need to say I can cure. But when I do that, they will arrest me. Because the others, they cannot cure. And those guys, major part of the medical industry, they don't want up. some people saying I can cure. And um, the second possible reason is, if it, that is the skin level, the skin is usually in charge, of, I mean, under control of the lungs and or large intestine. And if it is the flesh level, that is stomach or spleen level. And if it is muscle, again, it is liver and or blood level. So depending on the location and the function of organs, you will have different symptoms. And it'll be, well, you will have to be fixed, and your organ needs to be fixed. And typical side effects of this uh, acupuncture is if you're overweight, you're going to lose weight. If you're underweight, you're going to gain weight. The automatic self control. And uh, you'll have a better skin, you'll have a better respiratory system, and you're going to have uh, a better anger, anger management. You, you, you're going to have a sound sleep, you're going to have a better intellectual thing, better emotion with all side effects. Any other questions? So, um Acupuncture basically can treat all the physical and emotional yes. problems. How about spiritual? Well, I believe it can still be treated. Yeah. <laughs> I give five. Because, because uh, let's say, 
Uh, I believe when you do yoga or dan yoga or dan or, no, or different different style of dan, uh, your body will be somehow in the posture or in the stage of a calm. You, 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 if you have pain during sitting on the floor to start meditation, how can you proceed with meditation? Right? So somehow, even though uh, there is no relationship with the pain, as I said earlier, no pain does not necessarily mean your organs healthy. So if you have a healthier organs, then you have a lot better, quicker uh, approaching or achieving your goal, even spiritual. Next one. Any other? So it's just a needle and the, the way you treat it, just like acupuncture itself, do you need to use another medicine? Herb no, herbs, no, I don't use herbs because um, the, uh, to be an acupuncturist, uh, we are supposed to learn herbs as well. And the, all the formulas they're using, they were invented or discovered like at least 200 years, years ago. And look back, even in the 1950s, all world was starving. So most of the problem, the health, health uh, the problems are due to all the nutrition and coldness of the body or organs. So, the all, uh, most of the herbs are trying to raise the chi or enhance the chi and heat. And now, most of the problems we do have, like MS, Parkinson, blueberry, or cancer, tumor, they're all the indication of heat. The total reversed situation now. So when you take orbs, depending on the, uh, based on the experience by 200 years ago, it's gonna help you? Mostly not. So I, I don't use medicine at all. And on orbs, and it takes very long time. Okay. So, um, and since all the five element acupuncture points are located from knee down and elbow down or elbow up. So we don't treat from or belly area or back. Okay? Yes? Well, what about, you know, you're talking about relieving pain and that sort of thing, but what about um, chronic illnesses, like asthma or diabetes or any other chronic illness? Okay. Um, uh, Before I forget. Okay, uh, I had a like middle fifties uh, lady who had a very severe bronchitis, allergy, and pain. I gave her ten, ten treatments, and she went to other physician to uh, the diagnosis of bronchitis. Small bone, ten tumors. Yeah, not to mention about the pain and allergy. 
So if no matter how severe in infection due, uh, due to the virus or the uh, bacteria, actually, you know, when you watch TV or ad on the, even on bus or train or tram, you see a lot of stuff saying killing 99.9% .9 of germ. And we're not supposed to kill the germs. We support, well, our body or organs are supposed to kill germs. Okay, even uh, I talked to the dentist right next to me yesterday, uh, two days ago. Can, uh, well, she, her question was, can you fix gum? Yeah, of course. Because uh, the stomach is in charge of gums. Because uh, j not just the flesh, but looking at the meridians like this, that's all stomach. So we just have to treat the stomach, then uh, it will treat gums. So even the two teeth was moving, still it can be fixed. And at least uh, millions of bacteria we do have in our mouth. In our and you don't want to kill them. When you try to kill them, eventually you're going to kill yourself. We're supposed to live together by ourselves, doctor. So even though um, bio biological clean crop, when a patient stays in there for very severe or treatment, still there is virus and bacteria in there, even though they call it biological clean group. And they get, still get infection. So asthma is pretty much nothing. And the reason why I was uh, uh, wanted to tell you was the sensory, there is a product uh, so-called uh, food supplementary product, so-called insulin, which is the combination of uh, cinnamon and insulin. Okay. Uh, type 2 diabetes. And it may be very hard to believe what I'm going to be telling you. However, your um, their pancreas still be able to work back to normal. Usually diabetes, their body asking to I mean, pancreas to shut down. So pancreas is doing what it's supposed to do, not to produce any insulin anymore, because your body is asking. So Usually, when you take well, the, uh, the back page of that, what, what information, I think it is number 14, there's some tip about, about the diabetes. Properly using, uh, proper using of cinema powder can bring the uh, glucose level down to healthy condition in two days or in a week. Very easy. The very high, with a very high success rate. And uh, if you want it, I can give you, well, you just this, uh, get this one, okay? When you have a diabetes problem, get insulin uh, from Costco. I, I'm not salesman from Costco at all. Okay, don't, don't get confused. And the direction of uh, dosage is like two tablets a day. You know, unfortunately, all those uh, guys in the food supplementary products, they want clients to keep buying their products. Okay, so, so sometimes they even put the steroids in them vitamin, they put steroids. Yeah. Anyway, uh, 
the basic goal is of those manufacturers or sell, sellers is to bring their customers just enough to survive. They never want you to get healed or cured with their product. Because once you're cured, why would you keep buying? Right? So you just increase the dosage from two tablets a day to four tablets or six tablets a day. Then you hopefully and probably fix at least bring the glu glucose level back down to normal or healthy condition. Yeah. And diabetes is the most horrible disease human beings can ever have. Treating cancer is much easier than treating diabetes. Okay. Um, if proper treatment of cancer tumor is done, then will the shrinkage on tumor will be is supposed to be like this this much, this fast. Really, I'm I'm in. One of my apprentices or translator in Barcelona, Spain. He treated a lady with breast cancer, and the tumor was like four inches diameter. And she had a uh, chemotherapy, and she ended up seeing him to take care of uh, her side effects of uh, chemotherapy. They you know, see the nausea, that kind of stuff. And eventually, she was convinced that she better quit Western medicine. Uh, she just depended on his treatment. And a month later, it's small. So, uh, however, when I get a notice, doctor say, you have lung cancer, then I get freaked out, right? Freaked out. I get scared. I'm going to die. So I'm going to quit smoking. I'm going to change my diet. I'm going to do some exercise, what I need. But diabetes is a totally different animal. It doesn't give me any pain. OK? And Western medicine brains brainwashes you. You just have control over glucose level. Well, it is kind of a using duct tape to mask the problem. And eventually, the fine arteries from fingertips or you know, eyeballs, they, they get blocked, blocked, blocked every single day because they believe what the physician said. So since there is no pain, they don't get scared. And they don't hardly see the people dying from diabetes. Because the terminal stage in diabetes, they use, use, usually you uh, lose their eyesight and hands or feet. And then they get have kidney failure, right? So they just die with a different name or leukemia or whatever. Uh, so they don't see the people dying because of diabetes, but because of different things of diabetes. So they not. I I don't want to change my lifestyle. Okay, when I was for that. I'm diabetic. I don't want to change my lifestyle. I just have to take tablets. Even worse, I just have to get some injection from it on the insulin. And then I will, I will keep losing 
my ability, and eventually, no, even though I'm a millionaire, I will have to lose all my property, spending all the wasting my money to the physicians, dreams, going through surgeries or whatever, and I'm going to be losing all the assets and die. So diabetes is the most dangerous disease in the world. But it can be still treated. And when you go to a hospital, ask those people, nurses and physicians, if there is a person hospitalized due to diabetes, has, have they seen any patient walk out alive? They all die. They all go out of the hospital, lying on the bed, dead. None can survive diabetes. Okay? Very, very. And uh, I, when you do some search on diabetes, and you'll find the history, like 50 years ago, uh, the uh, population of this United States, uh, like 0.25% of population had a diabetes. Now it's like one third. Okay. So don't trust on the family history because family history doesn't mean anything. If the family history is applied to this diabetic change, then that means only those people with the diabetes have given birth to the people. <laughs> Just in 50 years. So all the food you have and, and that is so messy. Please come to my website, uh, click on testimonial, and that forum or forum, and you see a bunch of good information. You don't have to see me to get my treatment. I don't want you to see me if you could treat your problem with just changing your diet. And Hippocrates said, let your food be your job or medicine. Okay. And somehow our food is very, very bad. Very, very bad. And I, uh, the paper I gave you is uh, the paper I give out to my patients. And even though uh, the title of the document is Noteworthy Information, Please treat it as kind of an instruction. And just following this, you can lose some weight. You can have back, have health back to health condition. Okay. Any other? I think I spent most of the time. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Are they going to be giving like um, simple? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, um, I have brochures and business cards over there, and you can go to my website. And if you want, okay, as I saw again, those people, those three winners, <laughs> please come out. Usually, the acupuncture in the USA is not considered a medical practice or medicine area. Um, but you, at the beginning, you asked us to call you Master Kim. Yes. So you treat the acupuncture as a Kung Fu or meditation stuff? Well, Master is the, to call a person who is uh, with a kind of a certain level, whether it's, uh, it's martial arts or even, well, in Germany, they use Meister. If there is a good engineer or skilled technician, they still call it myself. So, who is good at something? Where? Okay. 
and uh, Obama's care is supposed to be well has a so-called uh, conventional alternative medicine. So this is so-called CAM, and all the health insurance companies are not supposed to do any discriminatory action on CAM. That includes the acupuncture. So they're supposed to cover all the acupuncture treatments. However, not yet, not fully covered. Okay. That, yes. Uh, okay. I take care of seniors, and uh, my residents have MS and diabetes. Uh -huh. And what is the third, third one you said? So if I, because I need to convince the, their family members mm -hmm. that it can be treated. Mm -hmm. If I get the, their family members, would you come and talk to them? Oh, sure. Absolutely. Okay. We'll make an appointment and then tell the families to come to attend them. Uh, yes. And uh, before uh, I finish my presentation, and I start my the demonstration of my acupuncture, my mission is to provide my acupuncture totally free to the people in poverty and in need of it treatment all over the world. That's my mission. Uh, may I ask um, your opinion about major disease? What? Major disease? Like oh, the, that, that one? Yeah, that make you spin. Um, spin. Okay. okay. Um, that is, uh, could be related to with your small intestine. Because right here, there is like a bunch of points of oh, the small intestine. And also, triple energizer has a meridian throughout the year. And also, kidneys and bladder, they have a function wise, they are connected to the ear. Somehow. So, when you get old, you're losing your hearing, right? Because your kidney is getting unhealthy. It's very simple. Then uh, usually it takes just a, a week for you to be one of the best acupuncturists in the world. That's it. It's easy to learn. Uh, this book is about uh, pretty much all of my acupuncture except for how to use needles. My target readers are ordinary people, like anybody with high school diploma. That's it. So we're able to learn this just by. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's get, go ahead and do the demonstration. Yes. I'm going to demonstrate? Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I never oh. had it done before, so. <laughs> Hang on a minute, let me see. <laughs> okay. What, what is your problem? Okay. You talk about diabetes. I have that. Wow. And okay. I have my insulin. So let's see if we can get it stabilized a little bit and reduce that. Wow. Wow. That's my the, the, uh, It will take a long time. Yes, I will. Because once it works wow. a little bit, I will come to you. So let's see, if you know, <laughs> what happened. <laughs> okay. To do that, we need to compare the glucose level before mm -hmm. and after. Okay. I usually get a two, 20 or 30 low number okay. with the treatment. Okay. So it will have to take time. Okay. But the demonstration on this is about pain only. Because, oh, okay. because if, uh, I want to show you in a minute okay. the difference. Oh, okay. Pain. Pain, I don't know. I think maybe it's arthritic a little bit, but. Uh, you don't have pain? Well, no, not, uh, not really. Maybe joint as opposed to the arthritis, I think. So when you move, uh, yeah. you don't have pain? Yes, there is a little bit. Which one is most severe? Uh, I think here, these two. This is mm -hmm. your lungs. Mm -hmm. This is your pericardium. Okay. okay. So which side is worse? Uh, this one is worse. 
on, on your thumb? No, just this part. Okay. This part. Uh, how about the thumb? The thumb, the thumb also is this part here. Okay. <laughs> there was a lady who had a very severe pain on the, her thumb. Her thumb is under control of your lungs. She was a painter. She could hardly grab a uh, brush. And when I was treating her, I told her that we need to her on healthy lungs. I also mentioned that the lungs and large intestines, are large intestines, they are in charge of skin. A few three months later, she says, she well, confessed she had a uh, skin cancer. How's that? Disability. You know those kids, like, like six years old or three years old. I use a magnet instead of a mirror. Okay. I can move a lot better. Okay. Next one, please. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Well, okay. Good. Okay. Yeah, I'll do it again. Oh, okay. Um, mine's more like anxiety and depression, but I do have pain, like here and here. Right in spine. Just like here, like tension here. Uh huh. Um, and you, you don't have any other? Um, maybe like here, I don't know. Okay. Right now it's more. Yeah. Take on easy or what? No, it doesn't. There's nothing. I mean, when you first put in that. Please put your foot on the chair. Oh, don't feel enough. On the chair. On the right chair, yes. But at least now at least I can move my hands a little bit. The needle, the neck end. Fix the right hand. Okay, kidneys uh, have a meridian or branch meridian on uh, the conceptional meridian and the common meridian. So I'm going to be treating her kidney. So if my theory is right, then you will be supposed to take it out of this area and this area at the same time. How about now? I hope that. How many? So breathing deeper. On the spine, on the neck. It's from more of the left, I guess. This is the liver. Do you have a particular region? <laughs> no. <laughs> Pinching? Mm -hmm. I'm feeling my muscles just relax. Of course. Uh, if you have a PMS, that is due to you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She keep that needle in on her on her, you know, the foot forever, and then she yeah. she will never have problem again. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, again, if uh, she keeps having a poor diet and the poor uh, emotions, then it will eventually affect her health, and she she may come back. Or her symptom may come back. Okay. Can I go to the bathroom? Oh, sure. 
Do you need to go for anything? Do you need to go for anything? No, I But now I have the, the gum problem. It kind of bothered me if I push that. I, I can feel the 10 scale from 0 to 10 would be about 4 or 5. Easy. Okay, oh no, just, uh, no, 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 just on your right side, right? Right side. Okay. Uh, thank you for your, yes. Uh, sir? So this would be kidney too? No, no. You, you are going too fast. <laughs> well, men are supposed to have a problem on the right side, and uh, women are supposed to have a problem on their left, left side. So if there is any person with a, uh, Parkinson's disease or um, whatever, usually, Usually due to uh, their, I mean, uh, from their uh, for men is their right side, for men and women are left side. Since you have problem on, on your right side, that means you have a kind of man's speed. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if you're cool or not. But you have trouble on the wrong side. <laughs> yeah. Open your hand, please. This is your right intestine. Actually, it may not give you give you trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is gonna be your stomach. Unfortunately, this acupuncture has a kind of discrimination or um, the oriental people has a slow steady response to this treatment. The Caucasian works better. African American works a lot better than the earlier two kinds of people. And Hispanic, they just have to see the tip of the needle. <laughs> Fast. How about now? Yeah. Make it longer. Usually, you gum, you know. Wow, it's like one or two now. Well, pain, yeah, pain wise, yeah. Liver has a branch, meridian surrounding leaves. So this will have a uh, resulting a better pain and angle management too. So with this treatment that you get, you will end up loving your husband even better. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. You have a lot better problems. How about now? Oh, it's between zero and one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next. <laughs> come on, come on. Okay. Oh, good.
quit all beef, all dairy products, no matter what, even, even yogurt. Yeah. That is a kind of a must. So no matter how good my acupuncture is, if you don't change your food, you'll keep getting poison in, into your body. So anyway, um, on your left side, right? Yeah. Wow, he's smart. He knows what to do. <laughs> okay. That's his letter on his lab website. And most of most of the people. And kidneys, again, the, the spine area. That is it? He's my brother, so she will tell me he feels better. <laughs> you feel both? Yes. How about now? Even better. Even better. Like what? If you'd like. So, pretty. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Eddie? Yeah, please. I can feel the side effect now. I didn't tell you I have that tense muscle here, and it's gone now. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you do. <laughs> <laughs> so, my side? Oh. Does, do you have pain? Um, it's numb. No, okay. And the pain I have is in the knees and my shoulders. Shoulder where? Exactly. This is the most advanced science in the world. Do you see some common treatment here? Usually, liver is involved, kidney is involved, right? And lungs. So,
Mais um pouquinho. Um pouquinho. Acho que é um pouquinho. Um pouquinho. It's a matter of time. How's your shoulder? Mm -hmm. I told you the skin is under control of the lungs and not the skin. And this is the lungs. So this is a bladder about your neck and muscle. How's your neck? Justin, give me a left foot. Okay, no, no, you don't have to. Just a foot. The whole bladder. How long have you been having uh, migraine? I'm not sure you hundred percent, okay? Please remember that.
Mais uma vez. Faz o jogo. Oi, Zé. If you could do it completely, then uh, how can I make money? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> then you will see physicians, you're going to have to spend a thousand dollars. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> of course. We don't think. We know what you're going to get. So many people think I'm cocky. <laughs> well, you have the right. Yeah. You know, once you learn this one, this acupuncture, then you will have to be cocky. Also. <laughs> I mean it. Because you can say, yeah, I can fix that, I can fix that, I can fix that. Yeah. Almost done? Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, I got to take off from the Huh? Yeah. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> I lost the customer. <laughs> Tentative client. No, I, I need to finish in kind of right now, right? Yeah, we have only 10 minutes. I'm sorry? Yeah. So we have to clean. Okay. Christine only. Christine, yes. <laughs> okay, what, what is it? Same thing with carpal tunnel first on this. I mean, same thing with tendonitis first on this side. And that's it. And my knees are like oh. the first on this side. Nice. Okay. That's not really bad. Uh, on your right side? This is kind of a, yeah, sorry? No. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Thank you. 
Okay, uh, what do I'm we're going to do with this? Pull this out? Uh, let me wrap this up and so that I'm terribly sorry. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect to be this uh, late or long. And, uh, please put some reviews and just send me an email uh, showing what post you have posted, reviews you have posted, and send me an email. Then I'll choose three winners. We go from uh, we go from there. Uh, thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank yes, you. thank you. Thank you, Mr. King. Thank you.